All right, guys, it has been quite a while since I have made a video. Uh, I think it's been about two weeks. Uh, long story short, I had gone down to LA, spent some time there. Work, as usual, has been a little bit crazy. But today, we're gonna drop a video. I got the time, I need to do it. Um, and I also wanna thank everybody that has taken the time to ask questions. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is anytime somebody asks a question, um, in the comment section, I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions in a video so that everybody's aware, they can see my answers, and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Today's video is actually going to be a resale recap type video. Um, like I said, it's been two weeks, so there's been a lot of releases, um, and uh, to be quite honest with all those releases, I'm not really gonna have that much time to go into everything. So what I'm gonna do is just go into the stuff that I've picked up. I'm gonna unbox that stuff here live and uh, yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Also, you might see me taking my hat on and off. It is hot as hell uh, here in the Bay this week. We have a heat storm. So I've got my fans on. I need to go pick up an AC later because I do not have an AC in my apartment. So please do not mind me if I'm sweating like crazy. We've got the first item on the list. Uh, the first thing that we've got here is a package from Supreme. Um, I think I already know what this is. I think this is the Hydra pack that I bought, what, three weeks ago? Because week two was delayed uh, until last week. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up, see what we've got in here. Got my trusty knife here. And I will have all of the resale um, and retail costs um, in the video here. Uh, so if I don't explicitly state it, you guys should be able to see the price up above. All right, so first thing we got, we've got some Supreme uh, rubberized gloves. Uh, these are like the gloves that I used when I uh, used to work in a warehouse. Um, I guess this is pretty cool. I guess this is one of those things that if you're in New York and it's snowing, this is gonna be the item for you. Um, again, I'm probably gonna resell these. Um, and that's, you know, that's one of the cool things about Supreme is that when you order something, you're gonna get some other things in that package that is going to have some sort of resale value. So um, this is pretty cool. This is something I can resell um, and it's free, right? Like I only paid, I think it was like 38 bucks for the original package and I got all this other stuff. So uh, this is the first item. We got some rubberized gloves. Next thing we got is some stickers and we got the coveted box logo sticker, which is also pretty dope. Um, cool. And they gave us some wrapping paper, which is useless. Um, and then, yeah, the last thing we got in here is the uh, Stash One Liter Flexible Water Bottle. I think when I purchased this, this was uh, $38. Uh, it comes out to like 40 something with shipping. So um, yeah, this is cool, foldable, packable um, Supreme bottle. This isn't something that I'm gonna keep for personal. This is definitely gonna be something that I resell. Right now, the resell on this isn't the greatest. So uh, I'm not sure if this is something that it would be better for me to go to a local shop um, to resell or uh, to sell it through like eBay or some other sort of like means of, of, of reselling. But that's what we got here. We've got the gloves, we got some stickers, and we got the stash bottle. And let's move on to the next package. All right, the next package we got here is from CJ Fulfillment. La Mirada, California. I know if it's coming from that area, it's probably going to be one of two things. It's either gonna be something from Yeezy or it's gonna be something from Travis Scott because I believe they're using fulfillment centers in the same area. Um, and that's just a hunch. Uh, you can comment down below to let me know uh, if I'm wrong about that or not, but let's go ahead and crack this thing open. I've been waiting for a ton of uh, Travis Scott stuff for quite some time. Um, I think what happened was um, around the time of the Cactus Jack uh, Air Max 270 release, they had the Cactus Trail like collection that went along with the shoes and all that stuff got, um, I think it was like pre-order. And then with coronavirus, um, everything got delayed. So there's a lot of stuff that people won't be getting until end, uh, I think October, which includes myself. Um, I ordered some shorts, I ordered some t-shirts. 
So it looks like this is the t-shirt that I had ordered. This is the Cactus Trails t-shirt. Um, it's kind of hard to see here. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna keep this as a personal or not, um, but you guys can't see that. Let me, let me adjust the camera there. But it's got some cool like Cactus Jack uh, details there. Yeah, there you guys can see that. Um, it's got like that vintage sort of like uh, uh, 80s, early 90s sort of like graphic on it um, for the Cactus Trails running program. Um, let me adjust that there. Um, yeah, so that is the Cactus Jack uh, package, Cactus Trails um, Association shirt, light cream, large. Um, I always buy stuff from Cactus Jack thinking or wondering if I'm gonna keep it for personal or for resale because as I mentioned, I'm a huge uh, Travis Scott fan. So it's always, it's always a toss up. It's always a toss up. Next package we got here is from EE -E App Inc. Oh, Eric Emanuel. Um, if you guys are not familiar with who Eric Emanuel is, um, Eric Emanuel is a designer, creative, I believe based in New York. Um, he has uh, some shorts that a lot of NBA players have been rocking. Um, and the shorts sell out instantly every Friday. I believe it's at 9 a.m. PST. So that's 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And these shorts always end up getting, um, always end up selling out. It's, and it's, it's crazy because you can't bot the site per se. Um, and so it makes it very, very difficult. The only thing that I believe that you can actually really do is use autofill in order to like pre, um, in order to like speed up the, the transaction. Um, and so I've been trying to grab a pair of shorts now for like, I would say five weeks and every week I'm not able to. Another thing that they do is they have a question in order to add the shorts to cart and you can only buy one pair per uh, short. Um, and it's very difficult to add multiple pairs of shorts. So um, it's almost damn near impossible. But uh, yeah, that is exactly what this is. And these are, I believe the basic shorts. Yup, yup, yup. So these are the Eric Emanuel basic shorts um, in uh, navy. These are large. Um, the cool thing that I really love about street wear in general um, and, and specific designers are the guys that are really putting attention to detail on their products. Something like this is over the top compared to most um, items or products that are out there. For example, Supreme, you just get a box filled with shit in it. It doesn't matter what um, box they use. Sometimes I remember when I purchased the Oreo cookies, they gave me this big ass box with like two cookies in it and just filled it with a ton of, of wrapping paper or packaging paper. This is very deliberate. This is a bag that maybe potentially you can use multiple times, um, but it adds to the overall experience to you know the streetwear um, experience. And so I'm gonna open this up because I can, um, and this is something that I can still resell. Um, these are some dope shorts. Uh, these are the basic shorts. Um, I mean, they're kind of like, they've got that like PE school vibe. You've got the, um, oh, Where'd it go? Oh, uh, you got the EE -E here on the side. Um, and then you've got the um, logo, kind of like if you were uh, purchasing your um, PE shorts from, you know, that store back in the day, you would have to go to like, at least for private school, when I was in private school, you have to go to like the specific store that had all of the, um, um, uh, like sports clothes and like PE clothes for your school and like for other schools too. Um, so you kind of get that vibe with these shorts, but these are pretty dope. Um, I'm not keeping these shorts. I'm selling these shorts. Um, I'm probably gonna end up getting a pair for personals, but I want something a little bit different. Um, these are very basic, which isn't bad, but it's just not my style. Well, I, I don't wanna say not my style, but if I'm gonna get something from Eric Emanuel, I want something a little bit more custom and unique. Um, but these are pretty dope shorts. They're very comfortable. Um, I believe it's like cotton, if I'm not mistaken, not cotton, um, 
some sort of fabric. But yeah, best shorts in the world, made in New York, always reselling out fairly quickly. So uh, yeah, on to the next one. So the next few items are pretty much all gonna be from Kif. Um, I guess I've been spending a lot of time uh, on the Kif website and all the stuff that they've got going on over there. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. Um, I believe this is from the coat. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is from the coat collection. Uh, the Kif coat collection that released a couple weeks back. Um, and so I hadn't had a time, had a chance to actually open up this package. So that's what we gonna do today. Oh, oh, if I can actually open it. So these are for resale. These are not for personal. Uh, Kith always has some hype behind it. And these are dope. Uh, let's see. Ah, I can open these. Again, with the customized packaging. They didn't have to do this, but they did. Um, so you've got like the Coke custom package, which is really dope. Each, and, and it has its own little like pocket for the slides, which is super, super dope. Um, and again, this is the Kith Coke collection. So you've got the Kith Coke collection logo here. And uh, this is a resellable bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these bad boys and check these out. Yeah, these are dope. Um, not boost, but you know, uh, you've got the Kith Coke logo here. You've got the leather, and I think this is this looks like some really high quality leather. Um, you've got the leather um, strap on top uh, to keep your your toes intact. Um, and yeah, I mean, this seems like a you know very high quality slide. Um, I'm not a super super big slide person. Um, but I did order some Yeezy slides. Those are gonna be, again, for rese resale, not for personals. Um, and yeah, it's just a basic um, Kith Coke slide. Um, these are, um, I mean, everything from that collection was, everything from Kith pretty much sells out all the time. So not surprised there. And um, yeah, this was the pretty much the only thing I was actually really able to get from this collection. Um, most Kith stuff is pretty hard to, to get, especially for like the Monday program. Um, oh, there's like a bug on this box. All right, back from that excursion. But uh, the kit stuff always sells out pretty quickly. Um, you know, whether it's Monday program or any sort of other releases. I think tomorrow, this week, we have the Cal Kith Calvin Klein release that's supposed to take place. So that's gonna be a pretty big release. Um, I'm probably gonna cop personal stuff from that release, just to be quite honest, not necessarily retail, but we'll see. Um, I don't think the email for Kith has, already, has gone out already, uh, but when that comes out, we'll be able to see what actually comes in. Next on the list, this is all stuff that I already actually know what it is because when I was in LA, I did stop by the Kith location. Um, the Kith LA store, really, really dope um, in terms of the overall experience. Uh, very minimal vibe that you get when you go there. Uh, the other thing that I will call out also is they do have the Kith Treats Bar, which has some dope, delicious treats. I had um, Virgil's um, Custom Milkshake, which had like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, what else did it have? Um, I think it was like vanilla ice cream. It had like chunks of like crystallized caramel in it as well. Delicious um, all across the board. So if you do have some time, um, you are in the LA area, um, I would definitely say stop by. I mean, the whole overall experience is just dope. Um, just from a art perspective, they have uh, one part of the, of the store, if you look up, uh, there's a bunch of, I think it's either Jordan sixes or sevens that are um, a ceramic. Um, and they're like in the ceiling and it's like all covered in ivy. So you've got like the shoes kind of poked out. Really dope experience. But um, while I was there, I did pick up some stuff. Um, one of the first things I picked up was a Kith face mask. Um, this is not for personal, this is for resale. Um, again, uh, this is, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, to be quite honest, it's got like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got Paisley on it. So, um, and it's reusable. Um, and I believe you can wash it as well. So, um, and I, you can only actually get these in store. You can't purchase them online. So um, a lot of people, you know, kind of be stoked about this. I'm gonna stick these in the online store. Another thing that I picked up, and this is actually for personal, is the Kith 
twill hat. Um, it's a strap back. So um, that is one thing that's a little bit different about this. And it's actually a really high quality like metal um, clasp here. Um, it's got like a muted uh, uh, sort of like uh, matte black coating to it. Um, and then you've got Kith on the side here, uh, right there. And yeah, I just needed another hat. Um, I have, uh, I always wear my Supreme hat that you guys always see me in. Um, and I have some other hats, but um, I've been kind of more on that strap back vibe, uh, dad hat vibe, I guess you could say. Uh, so I picked up that one. I wish they would have had it in black. They only had it in like green and navy blue. So that's why I ended up pick, picking up that one. Um, so I'm not super stoked on that. But um, again, Kith makes really good, high quality products. So you can never really go wrong if you're purchasing something personally from Kith. Yes. Uh, these, this right here, uh, these are the Kith Stance uh, Collaboration stock Socks. They actually always have these in stock um, and I'm a huge Stance Socks fan. That's pretty much all I wear is Stance Socks. I think they have probably the most comfortable uh, socks in the entire world. I'm gonna go out and say that on a limb. Um, I know some people might disagree with that, but they literally have socks for everything. Um, they have socks uh, for golfing, for walking, for basketball, for baseball, for just everyday comfort. Um, and so I've been a fan of Stance socks for the last, I would say five to six years now. I got rid of all my other socks and I only exclusively wear Stance socks for whatever that's worth. Um, and so, yeah, while I was there, uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on a pair of the Stance Kith socks. Um, and uh, this allowed me to pick these up without having to pay for shipping. So these are for personal. Um, these are really dope. I actually haven't opened these up yet. Um, just because uh, the colorways for these, and I believe the construction, the material, yeah, so these are 79% uh, combed cotton, 16% polyester, 3% nylon, and 2% elastine. So the overall like feel of these, very, very comfortable, very, very cush. This is almost like a winter sock. Um, if I had to pick a pair of socks for like winter that I was gonna be wearing, or if I wanted a bunch of socks that I was gonna wear in winter, these would probably be the socks that I would wear Stance has other sort of like winterized socks, but um, these kind of have that feel to them. So that's probably what I'm gonna wear. Oh, this is super dope. And then on the inside, so you've got the Kith logo at the top. You've got the Stance logo. I need to trim that because uh, that is coming undone. You've got the Stance logo there. And then what's super dope, and this is the thing that I love about Stance, and this is kind of like makes this collaboration sort of like perfect, is that on the inside, you've got this, um, the the Kith, uh, uh, what is it? The Kith statement or their um, catch tagline is just us on the inside. And so like only you can see that. And those are the things that I really love about, you know, brands that are making things for us, you know, sneakerheads and, and, and hype beasts and whatever it is that you wanna call us. Um, you know, it's those small fine details that really kind of like set out different releases and different collections and really create an experience. And that's, that's kind of, you know, for me, you know, on top of doing resale, that's kind of what I'm chasing, right? Is that experience, chasing that experience for whatever it is that's being released, whether it's the Union uh, Jordan um, uh, collaboration or, or whether it's the, you know, um, I've never bought OVO Jordans, but the OVO Jordan collaboration or whatever the experience may be, or the Travis Scott, you know, Nike collabs, uh, whatever the, the experience or the, the, the release might be, it's always about that experience. You know, if you can do things like, you know, custom packaging that's reusable for other means, like, you know, a lot of people don't invest in those those details. And I think that's really what sets Kith apart from all these other brands is that they always pay attention to the detail. And that's not to say everything they that they release is perfect. Some of their releases are shit, but 
for what it's worth for what they do release there's a very high attention to detail and that's really what sets apart streetwear brands from other streetwear brands so um that's just me guys that's everything that i picked up got some stuff for personals got some stuff for resale um i will have a link in my description for anything that um i do have available for resale on my store hype kit co um for those of you guys that aren't aware i do reselling all these videos are about things that I pick up for resale, for personal, um, you know, uh, future releases that are going to be taking place and just kind of giving you guys an experience and just kind of give you guys tips and tricks on how to resell and, and cop things. So um, that's going to be it for today's video. I know it's very long, but thank you guys for those of you guys that stuck with this video. Um, this is just kind of a release re recap. Um, should be back to you posting regularly on a weekly basis. Uh, as of this week and going into the following week. So um, look forward to those releases. I'm doing release calendars as well. So if you subscribe to my newsletter, which I'll have a link in the bio, every week I send out a newsletter for everything that's releasing that week. Camera cut off there. But as I was saying, every week I do uh, release calendars. So I'll have the link to that as well. I'm gonna be posting an actual full monthly calendar as well on my blog, Hypekit Co. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.